Hello, welcome to the Zero YouTube channel. Today we're focusing on the John Pierre era of Doctor Who. Start off with the collection. It's now complete. We start off with Spearhead from Space. My favourite regeneration post regeneration story. The Autumn Dinner, they're really good for introductory villains. That's probably the reason they used him in Rose to bring back the revival. We go on to Doctor Who and the Silurians. Misery is the Silurians, obviously. If they have a 70 design, 70s design, it look more lizard like. It's a really good story, it is seven parts. So you just have to break it up when you watch it. The Ambassadors of Death, this is probably my favourite of season seven. Quite underrated, but it's really good. It's, it's really well written. It, it feels like it needs seven parts. It's not like it doesn't drag at all. Inferno, it's probably it's most people's favourite season of seven story. This is available in special edition that I got or regular edition. Uh it drags a bit in some parts. It's quite a good story, I just think it's a bit overrated. Power of the Autons. Bring back the Autons. Introduces Joe Grant after the initial uh, leaves the end of Inferno. It also introduces the Master. The Autons are more of as a device for the Master. Introduced the Master. Mind of Evil. It's my, probably my favourite poetry story. It yeah, brings back the master. He runs away at the end of Terror of the Autons. The, the Keeler Machine is quite a clever villain. The Claws of Axos. It's a bit overrated. It's not that good. It could have been two parts longer. It could have been like, or a firefighter. Colony in Space. It's a bit average. It's the first poetry story set in space. It's the first of the time loop missions. The series 8 ends with the demons. It's okay. Quite a good story. So if it's a poetry's favourite story he starred in. The demons are quite a good villain. Masters in it as the Magister. The demons in David Alex's. Sorry. This is quite a fun Dalek story. The edit the special edition of this one here is quite good with Nick Briggs voicing with Daleks. This is with Daleks don't sound that good in the regular edition. So it's quite an average Dalek story. Curse of Peladon. This is a bit overrated. I like the Irish Warriors when they're threatening. The Sea Devils. Again. Quite a fun story. The, I like the scene at the beginning of the Master shaking hands with the Doctor. You can tell that the Master has respect for the Doctor. We know they're mortal enemies. The Mutants. Yeah, boring. The Time War, this is the last poetry story I needed to complete the collection. It's okay, I, don't, I think it's better than most people say it is. It's still a bit boring with some bits. It could be in a full parter. Three Doctors, 10th anniversary special, which aired at the beginning of 1993, 1973. It's still quite a fun story, it's not really meant to be a proper Fun intelligent story, it's more of a bit of fun. Carnival Monsters, this is a unique version of the theme song. It's quite an iconic story, the Drash Higgs are quite a good villain. Frontier in Space, really good story. Still quite like this. Planet of the Daleks. Quite a fun story. Still really good. The Green Death. 
special edition. Joe Grant's departure. The only few departures are quite mature for Dog 2. It's still quite a good one. The mind gets quite frightened in it. Time Warrior. This story is quite an important story to the canon of Doctor Who. It basically introduces Galifrey and the Santarans and Sarah Jean Smith. Invasion of the Dinosaurs. Quite a clever story. Like the idea of people trying to make reverse Earth back to time before humans came. The fix of the problem of pollution. It's quite a clever story. Death to the Daleks. This story is just a bit of fun, really. And it's, quite, it's like the chase, it's quite a fun Dalek story. Most of Peladon are favourite of the two Peladon stories. Their stories are actually threatening this. It works out quite well. And Planet of the Spiders. The generation story, this is a bit of a story. It gets starts off on Earth and ends in being able to travel in the TARDIS. This is a good story to end his era. Now we're gonna move on to how to purchase the how to purchase them. So spearhead from space and can be bought individually second hand because there's the original ones out of print. Or you, can, or you can get it with Tower of the Autons in the Mannequin Mania box set. It's quite a nice box of artwork. And then Tortumus Ilyrins is in the Beneath the Surface box set. This comes with the Sea Devils and the Warriors of the Deep with Peter Davison. The Master of Death is sold in the Vitry Spot HMV 2 for 10 deal, which is how I got mine. Inferno is also part of that 2 for 10 deal. It's going to be bought in regular edition or special edition. The regular edition is out of print. Mind of Evil, part of the 2 for 10 of HMV. All the back ones, this isn't part of the 2 for 10 of HMV. I think this is in regular edition and special edition of regular editions again is out of print. So have to get this full price sadly. Call me in space, this is a part of the 2 for 10 deal in HMV. The Demons, this is also part of the 2 for 10 deal in HMV. Dear the Daleks, part of the 2 for 10 deal in HMV, surprise. The case of Peladon, part of the Peladon Tales box set. This box that comes with the monster Peladon and the case of Peladon. If you want to get that box set. The Sea Devils, obviously is a part of the Beneath the Surface box set. The Mutants, not part of the HMV multi by deal, but you can still buy it individually. The Time Monster, part of the Myths and Legends box set. Probably one of the more pricier box sets for some unknown reason. Because most of the stories on it aren't very good. This comes with the Horns of 9 1 and Underworld as well. I only cost you £17 on Amazon. The Three Doctors. This is going to be sold individually, or you can buy it in the Revisitation Tree box set for last, the special edition. Also, the regular edition is out of print. I'm going to move into the box sets. The 
when we got Carnival kind of the Monsters. This is going to be sold individually for us at print. We can get in Revisitations 2 box set. Which are over here. It's got Revisitations 2 here. This comes with Carnival and Monsters. And Revisitations 3, which comes with Three Doctors. Visitation box has a quite good deal still with special editions early releases. Uses these two are box set together as a technically one really long fell parter. It's called the Dalek War box set, it's quite a good deal. I've got here. Quite a nice box set. And the green death. Part of the HMV 2 for 10 deal. This is also going to be bought in regular edition, which isn't out of print, surprisingly. They're both in print. That doesn't happen often. The Time ones, Time Warrior, I mean. This is. We sold in the video, you can buy it in a spread for war box sets. They're both the same, exact same in the two box sets. It comes with the other set of Tauran stories, like from Tauran Experiment, The Invasion of Time with the Two Doctors. It's about £10, it's a really good deal. <coughs> Invasion of Dinosaurs, the last of the box sets. Comes in the unit file box set. Here. It also comes with the Android Invasion with Tom Baker. Death to the Daleks. This is part of HMV2 for 10 dealer right now. It's an individual release. The Monster of Peladon. Oh, it's part of the Peladon Tales box set. And lastly, part of a spider's which is a part of a 2 for 10 deal on HMV and is sold individually. So, thanks for watching.